I feature a lot of shoot 'em ups on this show. It is one of my favorite genres of video games for the simple, challenging, and fun gameplay, but the cute 'em up genre is a bit underrepresented in my reviews. And as we all know, the two are very different, whereas one genre has you shooting down hordes of enemies and is not cute at all, the other has you shooting down hordes of enemies and is cute. And that's what you get when you play Cotton 2 Magical Night Dreams for the Sega Saturn. This game was recently ported to the Nintendo Switch, where it does not cost $200. So that's a nice affordable alternative, but I haven't played that version yet, though I have heard it's a very imperfect port with a lot of input lag, so buyer beware. Sometimes the mighty Sega Saturn is still the best way to play a lot of old arcade ports. Cotton 2 has a lot in common with the original game. It has you playing as the title character, a little witch on a broomstick that is obsessed with candy, so at least her motivations are relatable. I'd probably face down the forces of hell for a decent jawbreaker, or my favorite flavor of Jolly Ranchers, which is watermelon. But unfortunately, I don't have the magical powers that Cotton does, so it's been a very long time since I've had Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Cotton, though, she has a ton of magical abilities in this game that she didn't have in the previous games, and it keeps the gameplay nice and interesting. As you destroy enemies, they leave behind crystals of various colors, and by picking them up, you can change the elemental shot that you're using. So for example, if you've got a red crystal selected, you'll be using the element of fire and you can hold up to three different colors at a time, but you can get rid of one by using it for a super attack. Essentially this game's version of super bombs and each color comes with its own unique super attack and they definitely come in handy when things start to get a little rough because despite its cute appearance, this game can actually be pretty challenging as you progress. Another cool ability that Cotton has is grabbing enemies to be used as either a shield or a projectile, whatever suits your fancy at the time. So in addition, to being a solid shooter with great visuals, music, and creative stage and boss designs, there are some very cool gameplay mechanics to keep things interesting on top of that. This game also supports two-player co-op, which is always a good time, so what's not to like? That is a rhetorical question, of course, it's the $200 price tag, that's, that's what's not to like. Great gameplay, great visuals, great sound. Cotton 2 has it all somehow, some way, any way you can, except maybe for the Switch version, I don't know. Again, just going off of what I heard, but if you're a shooter fan with a penchant for adorable witches on broomsticks, that kind of thing, and you've got a serious candy obsession as I do, I want my watermelon Jolly Ranchers, you must play Cotton 2, because it's all kinds of awesome. Awesome! 